too. What up guys? Today is October 16th, 2015. How y'all doing? How y'all living? So today is Friday. I know, right? I didn't vlog all week because I was working and doing other things. Uh, trying to plan my life out. All right. So, um, but I'm coming in right now to say what's up to you guys. And I'm headed to do two things. I'm headed to, first of all, get myself some breakfast because I'm mad hungry right now. So I'm gonna get myself some breakfast, probably an omelet. I'm like in an egg mood. When am I ever not in an egg mood? I just love eggs. Um, probably an omelet. Um, probably just by itself because I'm trying to stay. These last few days I've been trying to stay away from carbs because I've been feeling super bloated. And then I'm going to change my nail color um, on here. It's just starting to. I don't know if you guys can see it. I got a French French tip originally with the square top. And then what I did was is I had them rounded out and then I put this dark color on top of the French. But now it's starting to fade at the tip so you can sort of see the white coming through. And plus this color was a little bit lighter than I wanted. I really wanted something a lot more vampy and grungy. So that's why I'm going to go and have them just change the color um, on the nails. Probably something like a dark purple. So I'm trying to catch you guys up on what happened this week. I mean really nothing happened. What I just did was um, went to work. And like I said, I've been planning what I'm going to be doing next and where I'm going to be going. And, um, oh, I got these this week. Oh, I got a few things, like YouTube vlogger things this week. I got myself a new pair of headphones. I'll show you guys that. It's right here. It's the Sony MDR-X950 something. Um, I really, really like these. I actually went in to get the Beats by Dre, the studios. Um, but then the Best Buy, the guy at Best Buy actually was like, yo, I know you're looking over there, but you really need to look over here. So then I, when I listened to the music on this, it was just a different experience. So I was like, dang, I really want the Beats by Dre, you know. So everyone has those, but honestly and truly, like, the, the sound is just better on this. Not only that... There's more cushion here, so it's actually more comfortable, even though it looks a little bit more ridiculous, but it's really, really comfortable to wear for long periods of time. And the reason why I got these was to edit with, oh, there's the name right there, MDRX, MDRXB 950BT. So the reason why I got this was to, you know, edit my videos with, so I can like, you know, hear well, the sound quality is good, and um, it's close to my ear, and I don't have to disturb the ones around me while I'm editing. And then I also got it as a motivator, like, to um, for working out, um, because I'm starting to introduce that back into my lifestyle. You guys know I've always been, that's what you guys know me for, is healthy eating, and I've always been to, you know, working out and everything, but since I came to New York, I just never could quite add that to you know my regimen again so or my lifestyle again so I'm really what I'm okay let me just talk to you guys about it let me just do it I I don't really know what the future holds what I mean the future is my next step per se so I can't even say where I'm going next but I'll tell you guys this the place that I go to next I'm going to plan to be there for a while and what I mean a while instead of doing like eight weeks or 13 weeks or you know what I'm saying or two or three month contracts I will do um, probably six months um, in the next location that I go just because um, it gives me a you know opportunity to sort of stabilize myself in one location and one thing that I learned about being here is like you know I never was able to adjust and and have my own rhythm and I think it, I think I know the reasons why um, and so next time I want to be able to be stable, um, and, you know, f you know, sort of find my, my own way in the next place that I go so that my body and my health and, you know, my skin doesn't suffer. Um, it, you know, so as always, I'll keep you guys updated with everything because as of right now, I don't, I don't know. It's, I can tell you it's between two places. One of them is not too far from here and the other one is, is a while away. <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> I'll keep you guys updated. But for now, let me go get myself something to eat and change these names. What up, guys? Guess where we are? Where are we at? I hop. 
I made a little bit of a detour. We decided to come to IHOP instead. And then we're gonna go get our nails done after this, right? And then we're gonna go to Sephora. Then Ray is leaving me for the weekend for, I don't know if you wanna tell me. Hi guys, I'm leaving for the weekend. Where am I going? I'm going to my aunt's funeral. Oh my gosh. I'm leaving and I'm going to my aunt's funeral upstate. My aunt passed away last week Friday. So her funeral is, her viewing is today, her funeral is tomorrow. So I'll be leaving Patricia for the weekend. But she, she ain't gonna miss me. She ain't gonna miss me, guys. Of course I am. Anyway, guys, let's go eat. We'll check in later. and I am so tired you guys see this big hair I just um, took it out of a clip I did cover my hair I don't even know where my hair cut is I did cover it with this thing last night but of course it came off and I had it clipped up in the back and so I just took the clip down and then this whole thing just I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with it today as you know that I have church and um, so yeah the plan for today is to do church come back um, I want to go over my cousin's house um, today but I don't know if I'm gonna make it today tonight I'm going out to dinner with one of my subscribers so that should be really be really fun I'll bring you guys along definitely for that I did end up getting my toes and my nails done um, I'll show you guys my nails my nails are the French now remember I got the French tips um, like pink and white a little while ago but then I decided to cover it up with that dark red remember um, and so when I was gonna get like a dark vampy purple color that's what I thought I was feeling but then when she took off that other color I was like you know I'm gonna leave the French so I had the, the t um, nails rounded and filed just a little bit more um, they were already round but I just had her round them out just a little bit more and then just put a clear gel top on top of it instead of doing the dark color because I just thought it was like dainty and cute and then my toes are like a dark <laughs> a dark dark vampy like purple so I'm sitting here trying to figure out what church to go to the church I've been going to lately or since I've been here is I mean it's like it's okay don't get me wrong like the music excuse me music is on point um it's the preaching that I have a problem with and guys to be honest I, I'm a musician at heart a musician at heart but when I go to church I rather it be that the preaching is on point and the music is like then the music being on point and then the preaching is like lackluster and it's like I don't really like the whole bouncing from church to church thing um I, f I do it because I have to because of my lifestyle but not because I particularly care to do it trying to find another church at this point when I'm my contract's about to end you know it just kind of seems pointless so I don't know what up guys all right so I'm all dressed <clears throat> and ready um I just want to show you guys what I'm wearing today excuse background it's a mess <laughs> I'm wearing this like plain um, sweater dress that I got from um, rainbow actually and then I have this um, I don't know I guess this cardigan that I got from um, fashion to figure and it's a it's a store that I that I actually I really really like it's like a curvy girl store um curvy and plus size girl store 
it's I, I I love their stuff their stuff is like super super cute I bought this to wear um, um to wear a generation beauty which I did but I wore like a, a button-up um, you guys saw it. I wore like a button-up denim shirt under it um, but this time I'm wearing it over the sweater dress and it's long almost this the length of the actual sweater dress and then I have stockings and I'm gonna wear um, boots with it but for right now I have these on since I have to do some walking <laughs> so it kind of looks a little off but but this chick over here don't care so I'm gonna walk out just like you know what it kind of looks like I meant to do it on purpose I'm gonna take off this watch because I think silver jewelry it's kind of weird because silver I mean gold jewelry looks good with this but then I have gray on so I feel like I have to do silver jewelry so I'm gonna take this watch off and put like just a just one bracelet and that's it this is a uh, church plus dinner outfit I'm not gonna change I'm just gonna wear the same thing to dinner tonight her name is Shanta we're going to she was just texting me right now actually she was one of the ones that came to my meetup we're gonna go to SoCo it's a southern um, inspired or southern fuse fusion type of uh, restaurant so it's really good because it'll remind me of the food from the south and it's so funny that she chose this restaurant because just a few days ago was I telling yeah, I was telling Ray, either Ray or my sister, that I was craving some Southern food. Let me tell you something. When you spend some good time in the South, I would, when I tell you greens, my macaroni and cheese, brisket, dressing, good old dressing. I, I was cra I was I was having some cravings and so hopefully this will help to satisfy the cravings um, I'm actually looking through the menu right now um, and see you know to see how um, what I'll order when I actually get there I'm really weird like that I like to look at the menu before I get to the restaurant so I have an idea of what I'll order. hey guys I'm in the car with Shanta say hey hey guys what's up she's a long time subby yes yes and we just went to, I don't even think they can see it from here. <laughs> Probably not. It's the a really good place. Is on the back? No. no. Anyway, the place was Soko, right? Um, yes. And the food was so good. So if you are in Brooklyn, you should definitely hit this place up. It's on um, Myrtle, Myrtle mm -hmm. Avenue. So it was good. Shanta had the, um, uh, pork? Yes. Pork chops? Pork chops, yes. With um, mashed sweet potato and collard greens. Yes. It looked amazing. <laughs> so good, so good, so good. Wait, my Uber is arriving now. Oh, that's <laughs> What car is he in? He's in a Toyota Camry. I feel like they all drive Toyota Camry. Hey guys, I just got home. I don't want to wake up everybody in the apartment. <laughs> I'm not too sure who's home, but I don't want to wake up everybody in the apartment so I just got home from Soko and the food was so good I so recommend it everything that we had was good and then when I was looking around at the people who were around us everything else looked good too so I have to work tomorrow so I want to get the vlog uploaded and done tonight um I just want to pass on one thing. First of all, I want to thank Shanta for going out with me tonight. I had an, a blast. Like, you're an awesome person, and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to connect with you. And like I said, YouTube has been such a blessing and has connected with me with so many people. And um, yeah, so I had a good time tonight. But the thing I wanted to um, pass on is something that I learned um through a sermon that I watched today I did go to church but in the afternoon I watched um I watched the live service from my home church in Alabama because of the hour difference by the time I got home it was, it was right before the sermon started in Alabama so I was able to catch it live and um the pastor was just talking about some of uh, like struggles that he's been through and how basically that God um, revealed to him that um, the greater the test, the greater the trial, the greater the, the greater the opposition, the greater the opponent, the greater the revelation. And I started to think about what 2015 has been for me. And I started the year thinking 
you know, telling myself that it was going to be a great year, that it was going to be my year, not really noticing what it was, in fact, that I was saying, because I think I've cried this year more than I have any other year. The only other year this year has to compete with is 2011. Um, but I've cried more than I have in any other year. I've battled with things that I never battled before um in in this year but I've also been um I've grown this year more than I have any other year and God has revealed more to me this year about myself and about other people more than he has any other year and so he 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 when he was preaching he said that there's some things that you are only going to learn through test there are some some things you're going to only learn through trial and um, if God has allowed it to come your way, he believes that you can actually handle it. The very mere fact that God thinks that I have what it takes, that, that, that is just amazing in and of itself. So if God allows it to come your way, he knows that you have what it takes. And remember, there's some things you're going to only learn through hard times. There's some things you're only going to learn through trial. And the bigger the trial, the bigger the um, test, the greater the revelation. So that's what I got from the sermon. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm just going to pass it on to you. And I want to go to sleep because I have work tomorrow. And I will see you guys next week. Next week, I'm going to do some traveling. And what else am I doing next week? That's all I know. I'm some working too, <laughs> as I always do. And so I will see you guys then. Thank you so much for rocking with me and sticking with me. You know what? I can't do it now, but I will do it next week a lot of you guys have asked me how can you guys um get um um these sermons that i watch from my home church so i'm going to give you guys that information next week just remind me um you guys i'll give you them i could, i just have to go right now and i can't go through and explain everything to it because if not this video is not gonna get out on time so um so for right now i will go and i will catch you guys in another video I love you guys. You guys are great. You guys are amazing. But you guys knew that already. I will see you guys very, very soon. And as always, God bless.